I just don't understand Stupid. how everybody is repping up in 2K. Stupid. I just don't get it, man. Just don't get it, man. Here. Yo, what? Bo bo the 2K God? Yo, already. What you mean? You, I'm here to help you. You're gonna With have the best rep method. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yo, my boy. You already? My boy. We lit. You is super lit. Yeah, demon love. Nah, bro, nah. What? Nah, bro, we both lit. Bro. <laughs> On a serious note, man, today I'm going to be explaining the best rep method for all archetypes, what is the best thing to be doing in my career, park and rec center, as well as video examples. Who am I they asking? Hope he's been the realest plus one and one, cut the basket, keep my music blasting, no room for no acting, shorty got him booty, so I'm loving how fast it's my time to shine, I got the ball, I ain't passing. What up? What up, y'all know the vibes, it is Jers Flow 211. Today we're gonna be breaking down NBA 2K19 rep method tips really quick. If you haven't already, but if you did, my boy, you super lit already. But if you haven't, I'm gonna put you on game. Jers is the plug. In the description is gonna be a video linking to one of my rep method videos inside of the game showing you exactly what I'm doing in terms of rep gaining 100k at halftime the third quarter like going absolutely crazy so definitely check that out but if it's your first time watching me my boy i'm gonna need you to do me a quick favor i'm gonna need you to smash that like button and bang that subscribe button like you got a booty call coming on the late night so we're gonna be looking at this website that just went viral a lot of you already seen this but if you haven't already man in the description jersey is the plug this is the caps from 90 all the way to 99 now ever since this thing went viral it has been updated so if you haven't already or if you did i suggest go back because it has been updated a lot of them were blank but he managed to get a lot of people to contact him so definitely go back if you didn't see that your build was completed we're gonna be breaking down my career rec and park what is the best thing to do in those things so you're not wasting no time now the charts are gonna be showing in hall of fame yo jersey's the plug comment down below jersey's the plug now listen if you play pro all-star superstar they do have the percentage where you can kind of like figure it out if you play pro you got to divide whatever that number is by one 55 if you do um all-star is going to be by 141 and superstar is going to be 115 but like i said man hall of fame is the best thing to do it might take you a little while to perfect it but once you perfect it bro you go there bro you super super lit now let's look at this man nba championship you know what i'm saying you know at the end once you win that does give you a lot so you got to beat the playoffs all do playing hall of fame and being in the playoffs is just a little bit more it's a little bit more hectic rather than just playing regular hall of fame but uh yeah look at the win percentage this is why you got to win bro the win bonus is a plus you got to win every single game that you're playing bro and you got to get an a plus bro 62 bro and 62 together bro that's that's fire right there you gotta win bro now opponent strength the reason why it's zero it changes because if you play like the worst team in your my career you're not gonna get as much as playing the warriors for example so that's why that changes every game um but as far as that you know a plus and a win percentage don't change we got the five stat leader now draw charge look drawing charges bro shout out to your lockdowns this is the most that you can get in my career it, you know what i'm saying it's not a shot it's not a layup limitless no charge Charge is the best thing to do in my career. Look how much, there, bro. That's crazy. Chase down block as well. A lot of defense. Hard hit. Defense. Then coming into play besides defense is going to be posterizing dunks. So in my career for 2K19, playing defense is the best thing you could possibly do. After the defense, a posterizing dunk gets you the most out of anything you could do in this game in terms of layup shots so keep this in mind shout out to the slashes gang 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 contested miss shots shout out to the shot creator so y'all definitely get what i'm trying to break down in these charts pick and roll 
pick and pop, you feel me? Limitless three, stretches, uh, sharpshooters, the block, post fadeaway, up and under, post spin shot. And what's cool about these things is you get to mix a lot of them things up. So you could be doing like three things into one play and all that adds up and you do it over and over and over again. But some things do have caps so definitely keep that into mind and definitely check out my other video if you have already you lit if you haven't already bro you got to check out this video and the last video to keep up today we see the pull uh ball poke loose the acrobat layup the alley finish alley you assist uh flashy assist so you already know that throwing that alley is going to get you the most xp rather than just passing the ball regularly you never want to just pass the ball you always want to do like a flashy pass or you want to go for the oop uh post step back yo like a lot of this stuff like look at this you can literally do like a pick and roll a uh, dribble drive a, a post step back all in like one play bro like you can do numerous of different things you just got to find the right combination these are even example video examples bro this is super lit bro look at this so what he's doing is going to be doing a pick and roll finish right then a good screen right then an alley right and then a strong finish and then a post rising dunk my boy like that's that's crazy bro that, that is crazy right now and i'm gonna show you guys a quick example man i'm gonna show you guys a quick example right here let me show you guys a quick example right here peep game he's not using his my player his my player sets the screen his my player rolls and then he throws the alley to his own my player this is the best technique to use when you're in team takeover next up we got some 2k19 tips but i already covered all of this in my last video so definitely check that out pretty much what it's saying is um how to put yourself at point guard how to give yourself the most minutes how to call the play what plays you need and that and such not um another thing um acrobat has no miss or 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 make ratio as far as like hand and limit is three your percentage goes on how good you're shooting that shot the acrobat don't have it the alley don't have it because if you if your man throws you the alley and you don't dunk it it doesn't even count like you miss it doesn't even matter as well as acrobat so keep that in mind too but like these are little tips that your boy jersey is trying to put you on now jordan rec center shout out to the rec players i already know there's a lot of rec players out there listen opponent strength changes due to whoever you play just like you're playing part you feel me like if you're playing an amateur one versus an elite obviously you're gonna get more in the elite and the rec center has its own category so that's how that goes it goes to win percentage a plus now the most thing that is the best thing in rec is the chase down block and a lot of people be cherry picking bro so if you see your man cherry picking bro you know what i'm saying stay if your man scores the bucket start going back already because if he throws and you get that block you already know right there that was hella rep right there draw a charge is second then after that is an acrobatic layup so doing acrobat layups in wreck is a must hard hit then a posterizing dunk pick and pop um, we got the pick and uh, pick and roll. We got the filter takeover meter. So this is basically showing you exactly what you got to do in each and everything. Tells you what to do in my career. Telling you what to do in rec, what to do in park, and they're all different. And they all some you gain more here, some you gain done. We all know, unfortunately, playing my career. You know, feel me? Like nothing beats my career. Then after that goes rec, and then goes park. But, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people run in park, you sitting there and you don't really get in as much games, you wasting time, you feel me? You go to rec, quick games, quick games. You go to the my career, quick games, but you gain more in my career rather than rec. But if you don't, if you're not really digging my career, bro, rec could be a supplement, but you got to play a lot of rec though, you feel me? You got to play a lot of rec, man. Me personally, man, I'd rather just do this my career, but whenever I get bored, I hop in the rec center with the crow, you feel me? But uh, yeah, man, this is telling you the flashy assist. Next up, we got the park. Shout out to the park players, you feel me? I, I, I love the park, man, when I do get games. Now, opponent strength, like I said, changes with your lead, amateur. Y'all already, already know a lot of this stuff, man. Win bonus, if you win, you gotta win every game, bro. You gotta go on crazy streaks, even though you gotta like hop 
You feel me? Like, you gotta leave your street to go kill somebody else's street. You don't wanna waste no time. That's the thing in 2K19, bro. It's all about time. Now, you gotta get an A-plus teammate grade, bro. I mean, it's probably hard to get that every single game. Um, I believe, like, glass cleaners, the centers, like, it's easier for them to get a good grade because, you know what I'm saying, grabbing those rebounds, kicking in, setting the screens, dropping, you feel me? Like, all that mixed stuff. But, uh... The best thing to do in the park is a contested deep shot. You get 960. That is crazy because we know them stretches be hitting them shots from deep, them sharp shooters. So they're definitely getting a lot of rep when they're hitting those shots. After that, you know, we got the hard hit. We got the posterizing dunk. Posterizing dunk, you get a lot. Then you got the alley you finish. Bro, if your man is running down the court, and if you dunk the ball and you don't throw him the alley, bro, bro, get out of this video, bro. I hate that. I hate that, bro. If I'm running with you, throw me the oop. Because not only do you get rep for throwing me the roof, I get rep for actually catching and finishing it, bro. So, like, bro, the, the, bro, if you don't throw the alley to your mans, bro, I'm going to come through the screen, bro. But y'all get the point what I'm saying, bro. Throw the alley to your mans, bro. Throw the alley to your mans. We got the offensive rebound. And then we got the acrobatic layup. Acrobatic layup is, is killing it. You feel me? In my career, rec and park. Then we got the fast break score. Bro, listen. When you're when you're in the park, right? Let's say you got the fast break score. Throw the self alley to yourself or throw it open to your mans. But, but do not come down the court on a fast break and dunk the ball. That, that is stupid, bro. Throw yourself a self alley if you're by yourself. Do an acrobat layup. You feel me? Or do a teardrop. Do not come down the lane on a fast break with everybody behind you and you dunk the ball. Makes no sense, my boy. You trying to get that rep. So, like, that doesn't even make sense, bro. That doesn't make sense. We got the corner three. We got the post spin finish. The pick and roll success. Fill the takeover meter in the park is only worth 480. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, the, I mean, I, I feel like this chart, this chart is just amazing, bro. This chart is just amazing. Um, Definitely check out the website down in the description. Hopefully this video helped you guys. I'm just trying to be the plug this year, bro. I'm trying to drop bangers on bangers on bangers. I am going to be dropping a story time really soon. I know y'all been waiting for that. My last story time was super lit. If you haven't already, check the description. But, and then I'm going to need you to bang that subscribe button like you got a booty call coming on the late. Yo, hit that like button, my boy, my boy. Hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button. It puts us in a recommended. It helps my boy. It's for free. What are you doing? Help me so I can help you. We can go to the top and we can drop bangers every single day. But nah, um, there's a chart on the screen. You know what I'm saying? You're just like, what is this, Jerry? Listen. I need y'all to answer that, bro. I got Jordan February. You feel me? That's that's easy, bro. He's gonna he's gonna knock that down. He's gonna knock that down. So definitely comment down below, bro. Will you survive? Is you gonna die, bro? If it depends on that player, let me know down below. But um, it's your boy Jers, and uh, that's pretty much the end of the video, my boy. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next video. I'm about to go edit. Probably gonna be streaming tonight. We're gonna get super super lit. So definitely, bro. Make sure you subscribe, bro. We drop bangers. Hit that like and hit that bell. I hate to be annoying, but, bro, if you haven't already, you need to hit that bell because YouTube not sending them noties, bro. Like, I don't understand what's going on with YouTube, but definitely do that. It's your boy, Jers, and I'm out, yeah. I hate grinding. Never been lazy. Nah. Jers got booming. Monday to Sunday. My squad popping. Papa Willie, ski, ski. Don't need nobody, so fairly my great tea. Yeah, love, taste of the sauce. She loving the gravy. Yeah, yeah, rockstar pill, rockstar lifestyle. Jesus, please.